Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back to Hull City Career Mode Road to Glory, of course. I wanna say shout out to my man AB man. Thank you for the support, my man. I did visit your channel. Keep up the good work, man. You're doing a great job. Thank you, thank you so much for your support, man. It's really, really appreciated. And another thing that I wanna say, I'm sorry for not uploading during the weekend guys i had a problem with my wi-fi so i didn't have wi-fi since since thursday yes since thursday last week the wi-fi only came back today today it's tuesday so that's when i had wi-fi so all along i didn't have wi-fi so i couldn't upload anything and during the week um at least this weekend i thought i was gonna do a lot of videos and upload them but i couldn't so because during the week i'm too busy i have to go to work from eight until half past four then i need to go to gym for two hours maybe then come back and cook I, i'm singing i don't have a wife of course so i have to cook man i have to eat without that uh, i'll die i'll die but as i said shout out to my man ab shout out man thank you with your support and everyone who's been supporting me thank you thank you thank you guys i so appreciate that back to the business first game we're playing space we're only gonna have three games today man as i said i'm so so tired man. i'm tired i don't wanna lie i'm tired so we have spares today and it's First minute spares show their, their intentions because you can see Amos just missed there and it's just the beginning. Spares on the 19 minutes we came to spares now. Abraham what a goal he scored man that was brilliant brilliant shot. Timing was great. That was great and the celebration to match it that celebration man it was brilliant i always wanna do those kind of celebrations when i score a good goal because those celebrations like i think they they're only for good goals to me you can do whatever but that celebration it matches the goal man that's brilliant thank you so much to this boy man i so like this boy so much Spares came back immediately on the 32nd minute. Look at that pass, man. Look at that pass. Son, spot. son hates me as he hates my team. Surely son hates him. Hates my team, man. Man City. He scored three goals against us. He was trying to destroy us, really. But I'm glad we beat them in the Premier League. I just hope that we beat Man United again tomorrow. Tammy Abraham came back before the end of the first half, but he failed to control Henderson. Henderson. And Henderson failed to control that ball. We're gonna be like two goals to one up at half time, but it didn't happen. Tammy Abraham, and they just simply mark him. That's it, ref finished the game, it's the half time, half time was almost gone, so... Second half, let's see what Hull City can do against the perfect Kane and Song. As the second half begins, what a shot man, what a shot from Oscar, that was brilliant, that was a good goal as well. Another great celebration for my man. Good goal, good celebration. It was on the 53rd minute when we scored that goal. So we're getting, we are at this point. I was thinking, okay, we are in a good position to win the game against Spurs, and we, we are close to the 60th minute of the game. But Spurs, Spurs on the 63rd minute, 64th minute. They got a chance, there we are, they scored, he scored the brilliant goal, so 2 all, and we had to change at some point, because I can see that my players were well, starting to get tired, and that killed our game, Krujic got red carded man, our best defending midfield got red carded, we had to put in Ompudu, 
we had to put in Mbudu and then put Timothy way up front as well. Then we don't have the cam anymore. We don't have an attacking midfield. But we rather fight for this throw now. That's what I was thinking in my head. That let's fight for this throw because against Spurs and you are a man down. That's not gonna be easy at all. And you see they were coming at us strongly. So look at that goal from Ericsson, man. Look at that goal. That is so 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 untrue. It's a, it's a superb shot. I'm not gonna say anything, but to most gamers they don't like those shots, man. They don't like it. They complain about it all the time. I hate them complaining about it. That those shots are so it's a game when you are in that's why the A game is so let's let's play it boys let's stop complaining it's not gonna change this game nothing will change will ever change this game i'm just worried that we okay. might get, uh, now here's a get the same the trash on fifa 20. i don't trust i don't now trust i don't know i don't trust the employees of ea you can say whatever that we want to say but the truth is it shows the standard of the people who are working there now to me, it goes to the standard of the people who are working there. Because really, you can see that career mode, if you play in career mode, not only career mode actually, you look at the game as a whole, it's like they only changed the color. That's what they changed. The color, that's it. Nothing else. And then they wrote FIFA 19. From FIFA 20 to FIFA 19. That's it. Because... You look at this game, you look at FIFA 18, there is no different, the setup is the same, everything is like, still the same. Then they will tell you they are working the whole year. What are they doing? They are working on Twitter. Are they working on Twitter? That's my problem with this game. Because you look at the PES, I don't think they have huge budget like EA has to produce FIFA because FIFA has been successful for years so it should be easy for them to, to be able to accommodate their players and say you know what let's keep our customers happy but they can't do that they think they're gonna keep us happy by going to Twitter and updating us with all useless things actually because on Twitter what they do they say something they will tell you about these patches that they release and all those patches are useless in this game. Because they, they can release a patch saying that we, we are fixing the passing now. The next patch they're gonna say we are fixing the shot, for example. The passing will go back to where it was, to the state it was. Then turn to ask yourself what exactly they were fixing. What they were fixing. Really, this game it can make me so angry because we, we pay so much money for this game. We pay so much money and what we pay for, we don't get it. We really don't get it because it's like a modded game. You take FIFA 18, you do transfers, you put some kits, not all the kits because we don't have all the kits. But they have the licenses, but we don't have the kits. That, that shows the lack of work that the EA employees put on this game. They don't even care. What they care about is that FUT game mode. That's what they care about. I think they hired people who were playing that thing to come and work for them because they so glorify that, that mode. The other modes are just useless. That's what they are doing. Because right now, like, if you play this game, you, you will be very, very upset if you think of how much you paid for it. That will upset you to the core. Because you think, okay, I paid for this. But I look at the game. What did I pay for? Nothing. Go back to the, to the people who are calling themselves game changers. You guys came back to us and say, yeah. The, yeah, the game is nice, FIFA 19 is nice, what, 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 what. That was all bullshit. Because when we get the game, we get something that was completely different. We got complete rubbish. 
we got something that you can see that this is FIFA 18. The difference is the transfers. It's only the transfers. That's it. And the color. And the fact that we have uh, we have Champions League, we have Europa, of which it was already there. It was champ just that it was called Champions Cup and the other one was called what what the what what cup Europa Cup or something like that. But to be quite honest, they didn't change the game. They didn't change anything. Hopefully to FIFA 20 will change. It's not like we hate EA, we don't hate it, but we hate the service that they're giving us. We don't like the service that they're giving us. We love it. We, we grew up playing this game, man. From FIFA 8 to FIFA 7, FIFA 8, we've been with this game, playing it, enjoying it. But right now, what they're doing to us is not fair. FUT is not, didn't make this game. It only came later in this game. Career mode make this game. Respect career mode players. Respect them. Give them equal respect with your FUT players. We deserve that at least. We deserve that. Sorry about that, guys, but to be quite honest, the game upset. It does upset me. The state that is in, it's like we are useless to them. They don't care about us. We need to be respected. That's all you ask him for. We need to be respected. As you can see, it's half time. It's 2 1. We're 2 1 up in the Europa League. We're playing Rio Ave. Brilliant two goals that we scored, but we considered some goal that, yeah, I guess it was a good shot. Mistake from our keeper, and it leads to, it leads to a goal. What a mistake by our keeper. It cost us a goal. Hernandez have a brace, but because our keeper is not that good, they made a mistake. They gave the ball to Hudson Odoi, who took a shot and it was blocked. His shot was blocked. We got a corner from that. Hernandez again. He stepped up, he scored. This boy is straight. Our number 14 is straight, and then he used the Diabala celebration. I love that. That's great boy. Hat trick in the Europa oh, League. The we need to protect this win. Mark, At least we got a win. We need to protect it. We need to protect it. Then so that we will know that we need to be safe in this and uh, knowing that we're not you gonna really have to worry about the Europa League too much. Because we need to win games as soon as possible. We know that games are gonna come up thick and fast. In any time for me, so I'm gonna have to step up and man. Man of the match, God is much better. Enjoy your man, take the ball, give it to your kids, give it to anyone. We actually played well in that game. Though the position we didn't dominate position, but position don't win your games, man. Position don't win new games. That's what I learned about the game. You just have to grind, get goals, win, get goals, win, then you win cups. You will be successful. Nobody would remember you that you you, well, you dominated you position K each and every day. You were like eight, nine, but you lost. Nobody remembers that. The last game of the day, man. Last game of the episode. We play Newcastle, it's the Premier League. And I'm playing my second team. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepted. This team is tired from Europa League. They brought Kokorea. He's good as a good player. I want to use him. And he's good with the crossing as well. He's been crossing his crosses where I can go in front. Take it. Of course, well, I could, I could, I could. By the way, uh, this weekend I started another career mode. Uh, my plan was to upload that probably daily or no, let me just say three times a week. That was my aim was to upload it three times a week. Then this one I uploaded on weekends. 
But I don't know, man. I started a career mode with Stag. I like the teams that not many people are using them. I just want to take those teams a little bit like unknown or people they don't like them. Stuck up, they have great jersey, great well, they kept on going. I love that too. One or two of his teammates they thinking that the half time was their jersey go. is special. But it didn't, and they scored. It's yeah, one of the best jerseys in the world. That's both managed, I think, at half time. It's one of the best jerseys. All, all three kids are great. They have white, oh, red, see, and black. The They're all great. With the Mercedes sign in, in front, this, it's their sponsor, I guess. Yeah, it's their sponsor. So, they have great Corner. kids, man. They have great kids. Second half against Newcastle was still 1 nil up, man. And we got the corner. Put the corner in the middle. Mixed up there, and we Fresh missed the great corner. chance, man. We missed the great chance. That was a good, good chance for us to go to up. But we missed it. In goes the corner. Defended well. Tomorrow's game, I'm so so stressed out. Man United might spoil our day because well. what I'm thinking Only is uh, Man United, they're gonna try to prove a point after what Everton did to them. Everton destroyed them. But on the other hand, I hope that. Look at Sosa, man. Look at that speed. That was great, man. It's a. Uh, I think it's one of few, a few moments where you find your striker breaking through like that in FIFA speed, control as well usually in speed in this game is useless. Right. You would that see a player with the uh, 45 speed, speed too many men but he will be overrun by the player. Like he can over, he can run with the player who's 97. Let me just say so. Margin or maybe even run better well, than that player. And, uh, it certainly That's how broken the game the pitch is there. sometimes. And can make it very Yeah, I was saying that about tomorrow's game, man. About tomorrow's game, I'm so, so, so. Because it. it's a must be. Oh, Castell, first goal. touch. First so touch, man. Our sure youth academy the player. The strongest guy that we, we produced in our youth academy. He's so strong, this guy. Goal there was so superbly strong. taken. It was a nice Look at his muscle, he's he's so strong. Well. But that head, I was powerful. That head, I was powerful. And here is another angle on that goal. That was powerful. Great head. Yes, I was saying that I think Manchester United, they're going to try to prove a point to their coach that they are, to, to their coach that they are, they are good enough by winning against City because if they can lose against City the record of Man United will go to like out of 9 games and in it goes will lose 7 strong punch from the corner by the keeper that's embarrassing the fourth official has indicated and they have Chelsea on the market so probably they beat City or they draw with City and Liverpool fans will start celebrating because I think that's how they will win the league. Because if City tackle. can lose points, it's easy for them the to win. To but they still have to play Newcastle. Benitez might just spoil the party. The to clear the ball away. But we don't know, man. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hopefully, this thing will be uploaded before the end of today. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your patience with me. I know I'm not perfect. But I'm trying my best, man. I'm trying my best and I'm going to get better. Keep watching my videos. I love you. I love your support. Thank you.